Today we're going to move on to a new topic to something that's closely related to fractions, which is decimals. So let's have a look at that. We're going to talk about the basics today. So what are decimals? Decimals are numbers with a decimal point in them, which is just a bit like a full stop. Like these here are decimals. We've got decimal points here. And these numbers on the left are the normal whole numbers. And these ones on the right here are called decimal places. So that's what decimal places are. Decimal places on the right. So this one has... So however many numbers there are on the right after a decimal point, that's the number of decimal places that the decimal has. Okay. So, these first ones here has tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and ten thousandths. Because you say if that's one, those are tenths of the number. So this one here has one decimal place. I'll just put DP for short because it's got one number after the decimal point on the right. This one's got two. This one's got four. And this one's got three. So decimal places are just the numbers. However many numbers there are on the right after the decimal point. Now let's talk about about rounding decimals. So we want to round these numbers here to one decimal place. Now if you remember from the video that I did earlier on rounding whole numbers, we looked at the last digit before the one of this we wanted to round to. So we'll do the same thing and if it's a four if it's less, no, no, I'm sorry, I mean if it's less than 5, we round down. If it's 5 or more, then we round up. So, yeah, we want to round to one decimal place. So what I do is I look at the second decimal place in all of these. And if it's less than 5, I round it down. And if it's more than 5, I round up. If it's five or more around up. So this one here, the one decimal place is gonna be five point seven because I round down because it's a two. This one here, I look at the second decimal place. That's gonna be point four because it's a six, so I round this one up. This one here. Second decimal place is a 4, so I'll round that down to 2.5. This one needs, this number doesn't matter, the third decimal place. We're looking at the second one because we want to round to two decimal place, to one decimal place, sorry. So that's a 6, so this is going to be round up to 9.5. This one here, all of these three here mean nothing. We're interested in this one here, the second decimal place. So that's an 8. So around the 5 up, so it becomes 0 0.6. Okay, so these numbers here don't matter at all. Those are just extra numbers that we're not interested in because we'll look at the next number along. So if we want around the one decimal place, we'll look at the second one. If we want around the two, we'll look at the third and so on. And now we've got some more examples down here. We we'll want around these to two decimal places. I haven't got much room there, so I'll write the answers here. We've got 
1.142. So this time on, look at the third decimal place in all of these. So I'm going to get 3.14. This one I'm looking at the third one, so I'll just get 7.89 again. This one I'm looking at the third as well. I'm looking at the third in all of these, so I get 6.3. 13.632 because that's an 8 I rounded up. Now this one here has a 5, the third decimal place, so I'll also round that up. This one here, the third decimal place is a 2, so I'll leave that. And this one here has a 2 as well, so I'll leave that. Also, if we've got a num numbers like, say, and, and it says that you will want to round them to the nearest whole number, it means we'll look at the first decimal point. So this would round up to 3. This would round down to 3. And this would round up to 8. Because the whole number is the first number here on the left after the decimal point. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll look at the first decimal place to do that one. And the rest of them are just the normal rule that I explained down here. Okay, so that's the basics there about decimals and next time we'll look at adding and subtracting decimals.